This is a download from BBC Learning English. To find out more, visit our website. Six Minute English from bbclearningenglish.com Hello and welcome to Six Minute English. I'm Rob. And I'm Neil. Hello. Hello, Neil. And what a glorious sunny day it is today. Not a cloud in the sky. Spring is definitely here. Now, Neil, you're a bit of a sun worshipper, aren't you? You like sunbathing. I do, indeed. I love sitting in my deck chair in my garden, catching some rays. Mm, yes, you look a bit orange, actually. Are you sure that tan's <laughs> not fake? Very cheeky, Rob, very cheeky. Now, the reason I mention sunbathing is because we're discussing the sun in this programme. Yes, that's right. The sun is our nearest star, although it's a staggering 150 million kilometres away. Earth is one of nine planets that orbit or circle around the sun, and life on Earth couldn't exist without its warmth and light. And we should mention the sun is absolutely massive. Its volume is so large you could fit a million Earths inside it. That's amazing. It's also incredibly hot. Hotter than anything you could imagine. Hmm. So, Neil, can you answer this question? How hot is the surface of the sun? Now, I'll help you out by telling you that the sun's core, that's the centre, is a blistering 5 million degrees Celsius. But how hot is the sun's surface? Is it A, 1.5 billion degrees Celsius? B, 1.5 million degrees Celsius, or C, 5,500 degrees Celsius. Hmm, I have no idea. They all sound quite warm to me, but I think it must be a bit cooler than the core, so I'm going to go for 1.5 million degrees. OK, well, we'll find out if you're right or wrong later on. But now let's listen to Professor of Solar Physics, Louise Harrer, to discover what the sun is made of. It's just a big ball of gas, um, and we measure it. It's made mostly of hydrogen, so it's roughly 90% hydrogen. It's maybe 8% helium, and the rest of it's made up of things like iron, carbon, oxygen, nickel. So the main gas is hydrogen, which accounts for 90% of the sun's matter. Now, matter means what something is made of. And hydrogen creates all the sun's energy. Heat and light energy is created all the time in the sun's core as a result of gas explosions or nuclear reactions. And this bit is hard to believe. It takes 100,000 years for this light energy to travel from the sun's core to the sun's surface. But once it reaches the sun's surface, the photosphere, it can escape in fact, it takes only eight minutes for light energy from the sun to reach the Earth. Scientists these days are able to see the photosphere in fantastic detail using powerful telescopes. Though Galileo observed dark spots on the sun through his telescope several hundred years ago, didn't he? Which brings us on to another question. How old is the sun? Well, I happen to know that it came into being around four and a half billion years ago. <laughs> Did you study solar physics at university, Neil? No, just, uh, you know, just general knowledge there, Rob. <laughs> well, the sun came into being, or was created, a very long time ago. We're going to hear now from Professor of Physics, Yvonne Ellsworth. What does she say about how long the sun is going to stay the same? In terms of its current lifestyle, it's here for as long again. So we're about halfway through. And then it becomes a different sort of star, it becomes a giant star, and that's probably curtains for us, actually. Um, it'll get a bit warm, a bit toasty, uh, and we'll get enveloped in the sun and it won't be nice. So, the sun is going to stay the same for another four and a half billion years. But the professor also says that the sun will change. When it becomes a giant star... It will be curtains for our planet, and curtains means the end, I'm afraid. Yes, it does. And as a giant star, the sun will get hotter. It will make the Earth toasty. Now, toasty usually means hot in a nice way. Mm, that's right. For example, my toes are warm and toasty in my new slippers, uh, but in reality, the giant sun will make the Earth unbearably hot. It will surround or envelop our planet and burn it up. Well, I'm glad we're not going to be around when that happens. 
Now, remember, at the beginning of the show, I asked you how hot the sun's surface is. Is it a 1.5 billion, B, 1.5 million, or C, 5,500 degrees Celsius? And I said 1.5 million. Oh, that's way too hot. I'm afraid you're wrong.、Oh. The answer is actually 5,500 degrees Celsius. But still, if you're planning on visiting the sun, remember to take your sunglasses and plenty of sunscreen. Now, before we go, it's time to remind ourselves of some of the vocabulary that we've heard today. Neil. Orbit. Massive. Core. Energy. Matter. Photosphere. Come into being. Curtains for something. Toasty. Envelop. Thanks. Well, that brings us to the end of today's six minute English. We hope you enjoyed today's programme. Please join us again soon. Bye bye. Bye. Six minute English from the BBC.